All right, guys, American Trucker here. Um, payday video. Uh, as always, as of right now, I'm going to continue doing these weekly just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on in the market. Um, I do these videos for educational purposes just so you can see, you know, on average what's going on out here from my point of view for the way I run my truck, for the way I manage my clock. And, um, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. You know, some of it's where you start the load, where you finish the load, how much freight is available in that area, um, just all kinds of different factors, where you fuel up and things. But this will still give you an indicator of what's going on, um, at least here at Prime, for me and for the way I run my truck. So, anyways, getting into it. This is for payday on the 5th, May 5th, 2023. So, if you're watching this in the future, um, you know, this is not a good this is not a great time in trucking industry right now as far as freight availability and or how much it's paying right now that's just the way it is we're in a down cycle um a really good down cycle or i should say a really bad down down cycle but that's just the way it is right now so oh and watch my video next after this um i'm currently at a receiver now and i've never been i never felt screwed over more than I have um, right now so after this I'll do another video and then watch that and um, you'll kind of see some sneaky shady things that happen at a uh, you know that some receivers do I've never had this happen but it's really it's pretty messed up what they did so you know watch that next video I'll title it look for um, American trucker um, receiving I don't know what I'm going to title it yet, but just watch my next video, subscribe, and then it'll come up after this one. But anyways, so the pay for this week, the gross pay is $4,044. Um, so that's what I made before anything's taken out. Um, you got primes cut, you got deductions, you got fuel that fluctuate, you got tolls that fluctuate, you got, you know, your fixed costs that are the same every week, you know, things like that. The only thing that's saving my high end right now is not having a truck payment so if you come to prime you can make you know if you make this number you're going to subtract more down here in the deductions than me because you're going to have a lease payment if you're leasing a truck from prime um and then apu you rent that you know if you're your, your truck i think all the trucks have one at prime but uh, there's a little rental fee for that but anyways all right so gross 4044 I only did 1,905 miles. I don't get paid by the miles. I get paid a percentage of the load. But, you know, a lot of times I can gauge, you know, the higher the miles, usually it means more loads that I do. And more loads usually equals more money. Again, that can fluctuate for different reasons. But that is an easy week, less than 2,000 miles. For me, that's too easy of a week. Like I said, I like to keep the wheels moving. I don't like sitting but right now in this market. There is a lot of sitting um, other than the week I'm in was going well up until this point. And then, like I said, watch my next video and you'll see why. But anyways, so I got reimbursed $92 for reefer fuel. Um, and then now after that, my total deductions for the week were $1,411. Again, I don't have a truck pay payment. Um, you'll have a lease payment whether you're lease purchase or whether you're just leasing a truck from prime and then an apu rental as well so that's that number is going to be a little, quite a bit higher probably twelve hundred dollars or more higher than than what i you know have for deductions if you watch my other videos you'll know why i don't have a payment um on a truck but i use my whole first year money just just real quick i used the whole first year of what i made in trucking i use most of it at least anyways to buy this truck and I paid for it so now that's actually you know making a big difference in this economy but anyways so net to me was 2725 again I don't have a truck or APU payment so don't get don't think that's what you're gonna come out here and start making right off the bat at least in this economy you could you can make more you can make less um, but without a truck payment that number is probably gonna be a little bit higher than most in this current market so there's, there's a yard dog over next to me but so out of that number i take 30 percent out of this number right off the top of taxes and again i don't have a truck or apu payment which makes a huge difference um so right now just overall impression freight is slow and pay is not 
great per mile um, you know or just overall pay what they pay per load I get paid percentage of the load but I figure it up a lot of times on you know the per mile basis just so I know kind of just to have a measuring stick of where I stand on that load but that's it guys not a good week wasn't a great week last week um, I was gonna be on a really good week this week it would have been about twenty five hundred dollars more than what I just showed you which is huge difference in one week twenty five hundred dollars more um, than I made this week and I say was because you'll have to watch my next video and I'll explain to you why that's the situation I still could you know do well but as of where I'm sitting right now and how long I've been here waiting to unload way past my appointment time and maybe not even getting paid for detention I'll explain why in my next video um, it may have went from what was going to be a great week in this economy to maybe a terrible week so that's part of it that's trucking um, you got ups and downs and right now we've had a lot of downs and we're way more than you had we've had ups in this year as far as I'm concerned um, I really started feeling the pinch the last couple of weeks um, of the freight market and the, you know the, what's you know being offered out there for the loads and um, but again I, I've I worked my way up to this point my first year to buy this truck and you know I do feel for the guys that are leasing right now um, with that lease payment um, I don't know what they're making but if you take that number that I just had and subtract the lease payment, APU payment, and any other fees that may go with leasing one of Prime's trucks, then, I mean, you're down there in the, you know, a year ago, you could have made that locally with your eyes closed and be home every night. And now this is, this is where OTR pay is at and, and, and a freight availability. It's, um, it's not good. Not at the moment, but it'll get better. I mean, I, that sounds very pessimistic, I guess, but it will get better. It's just um, a realistic point of view, you know. I'm not trying to give you an optimistic point of view right now. If that's not the truth, I want to give you a realistic point of view of where the market's at, where the pay's at right here at Prime. And, you know, every trucking company across America is feeling this by far. I mean, there's a lot of guys who parked their trucks, lost their trucks, couldn't make the payment or whatever the case may be. And again, I've done a video on that about people getting their own self in that situation most of the time, but they won't tell you that. But there's probably some legitimate no fault of their own um, people out there that's got caught up in this trucking market that was you know everybody was jumping in two years ago and then you know those guys are gone a lot of them you know again like I said there's a few of them that wasn't their fault but you know, consider the source I guess and everybody always likes to point the finger but nobody likes to take accountability it's the world we live in now these days everybody's a victim but anyways um that's what it is uh i go on home time today is today is the eighth i go on home time in a week so i'll be out here for another week i'll do one more payday video um i thought it was going to be a good one going into home time but now i'm not so sure so all right guys i don't want to ramble too much watch my next video and I'll explain to you something that's happening to me right now at this receiver that hasn't happened to me in almost or at least a year and a half since I've been trucking almost two years. Um, I wouldn't, I would love to be able to have this argument with this receiver, whoever's in charge of this, making this decision, but I'm gonna leave that up to my fleet manager and sales and let them kind of hash this out and then hope, hope that they argue like it was gonna be their money on the line, you know. Um, some people that's when they do their best argument or, or they you know throw their best pitch at at you know somebody whenever it's their money on the line but this is my money on the line because I'm trying to get detention and um, I feel like they honestly I feel like they screwed me as what happened so all right guys um, subscribe if you want to see any particular videos there's a couple people that's asked for videos um, one person if you're still watching this this long into it I'll just go ahead and tell you I'm, I may or may not make a video on the difference between leasing on with prime with your own truck like I am or and leasing with prime there's not much difference at all I mean the, the way 
the pay works out, the deductions, all that good stuff. You know, it's just maybe small differences here and there. Um, at any point in time, I could take my truck and say, hey, thanks for everything. You know, I'm out of here or going somewhere else or whatever the case may be. Um, the major difference is I just don't have a payment. but And I'm responsible for all maintenance on my own. So that's going to be the main major differences on the saving in as far as not having no payment but on the spending in um prime or, or it's not i'm responsible for everything for this truck um they're still responsible prime is still responsible for everything to do with the trailer um you know it's a walk you know i can walk away like i said at any point in time just like you can with a, a lease contract with prime um and the pay is is nothing significant anywhere other than you know me having a payment or not having a payment you know versus if you lease you're definitely going to have a lease payment every week so that's the big thing other than that really didn't miss a beat running business pretty much exactly the same now as i did whenever i was leasing one of prime's trucks um so i don't know if i'll do a video on that it's gonna be that's not a lot of differences to, to do a video on um, same rules, same regulations. Um, my truck has to have the same specs, all the safety stuff in place, um, all that stuff. Now they got this truck ready to sell to the public, but it's um, so they did a few changes right before they did hand it back over to me. Uh, it's still governed at 65. Like I said, all the safety measures are in place. I follow any Prime's insurance, so therefore their insurance is based on how all their trucks are set up. Um, one of it is the being governed um, So I can't go over 65, which is fine there plenty, trust me. There's plenty of times where I, I would like to just for a few minutes to get around someone but At the end of the day, you know, I got used to that speed and It saves fuel, you know, and it's it's less dangerous than going 70 75 you know, Whatever the case may be, but that's all an insurance thing uh, that prime has worked out with their insurance company um, That's way above my pay grade but I run this the exact same way I did when I was leasing. So there's really not much difference in that. And then the pay, like I said, um, if I would have had payments on this truck, then there probably wouldn't be much difference at all than whenever I was leasing. But that's the big difference. And then, like I said, I'm responsible for the truck. All right, now I repeat myself. But watch my next video and I'll tell you kind of how I feel like I'm getting screwed here at this receiver. I'm not gonna mention the name, but it's dirty. Not only. I know they're, and it's not just me, this is probably something they do to a lot of people, and I'll explain why. Well, basically, the guy right beside me, I talked to him, and they're doing him the exact same way, and he had no clue, just like I had no clue. But now I know what's going on. Now I know why they're taking so long, and um, it's messed up my rest of my week. I already had a pre plan, good money. I hate it. And they done, they done took it from me now because I'm still waiting to drop off this load. So I don't know what I'm going to get next. But anyways, guys, um, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Um, that's it. American Trucker. I'm out.